guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I will share with you another Google Docs Notes video on how you can create your own version. And stay tuned because I will share with you how you can download and on how you can have a copy of the template. And yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. The first thing you have to do is to go to Google Docs, click on the File tab, then the Page Setup option. Choose the paper size you want. And in this case, I will be using the B5 size paper. Set the margin size on all sides, then click on OK. Go to Format tab. On the column section, you can choose a column format you want. So I'll be making a two column notes. You can adjust the ruler at the top to adjust the space between them. And now we will proceed in making our notes header. Click on insert, then drawing. You can either choose a word art or a simple text. I added here first a text box, then type the topic or lesson. Look for a font, then set a text color. So I just look for a palette on colorhunt.co and copied the color code. Paste the code here in Google Docs and you can just adjust it to have a darker shade. Add some shapes for your header as a design. Then I chose this shape design. Place it on both sides of the text. Set a shape fill color. And you can choose a no outline option. Here I just duplicated the shape and adjust the size. Change the fill color and do this also on the opposite side. And click on save and close. I will just use some information from the web for this tutorial. For the header, so first is to type the text and look for a font style you want. Choose a font color from the palette for your text and adjust its size. Next is to select it, click on this drop down menu and click on the update heading option. It depends on you if what header number you want to use. Then just proceed with your definitions or notes and here you will set again the font and color of the text. Select the formatted text and click again on the drop down menu and select on update normal text. Through this, your formatting textiles you will be adding or use on your notes and you don't have to customize your text always which can help you save more time. We just repeat this process, add the header or terms, then its definitions. You can then adjust their spacing to have more space on your paper. Then just repeat the process by adding some more notes. You can also add here some equations by clicking on the insert tab. Then here I'm gonna add another drawing, add a shape, and set a shape fill. You can also duplicate it and set a darker shade to achieve a shadow style for this shape. Add a text box and text you want to include, then click save and close. I will then add this guide in solving some equations under this topic. So in your case, you can add some graphs or photos to your notes to have um, somewhat a visual representation so that you can easily understand the topic. I just follow the format, but I change its style, change its color, then I adjusted the shape and text design. You can also add another header style and set it as one of your design by clicking on the update heading. I will just repeat the process here since I'm just adding some more equations. Adding some more notes, definitions, and equations. Also, if you have a snipping tool option on your laptop, you can use it to easily capture a photo from the net and directly paste it to Google Docs. Then I just added here a line slash divider shape. 
Then just apply the header styles you set earlier to the additional text you will add on your notes. Here I'm just adding some examples of the topic to the Google Docs notes I'm working on, then just repeat the process. And here is the result. Also, you can add some highlighter on the terms before printing them, so this depends on your preference. After that, you can now print them on your paper, and in this case, I will be printing it on a B5 loose leaf paper, and if you want to know where I bought it, I will just leave the link below. Also, if you want to have a copy of the template, I will just leave the link below and here are some instructions on how you can download it. And yes, that is all for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. So if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video. Bye guys!